guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I'm going to show you guys how I make my DIY gesso that I use in my scrapbook when I'm scrapbooking. So let's go ahead and get started. What you're going to need is some plaster of Paris, you're going to need some regular school glue, some white acrylic paint, a mason jar, some cups, and some popsicle sticks. So what you're going to do is you're going to pretty much just pour all of them together, starting with the school glue. And don't worry, all of the ingredients in the measurements will be listed in the down bar. Next, you're going to need some white acrylic paint. And you're just going to pour that in there with the school glue. comes the fun part where you put the plastic of Paris in and I find it easier to put the powder in last because it doesn't get stuck at the bottom when you start stirring it. Next the last thing for you to do is stir 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 also, don't be afraid to make a mess while you're doing it, because if you don't make a mess, you're not having fun. So this is what the gesso looks like when it's done. I applied mine on some satin paper here, but I didn't have any regular paper around, so that's why I did it that way. But you can pretty much use any kind of paper, and it dries quickly, and if you want it to dry quicker, you can use a blow dryer like I do. So that's kind of how it looks. It's very bendable, it's pliable, and it's spreadable. And that's pretty much it for my DIY gesso. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video.